Yo, 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 what is up everyone? We are playing Pengu's Party. I'm on Radiant Blessing and I have an Amumu, which is crazy. Because I might just play Lux here, honestly. I mean, TG is always a great, great take. The thing is, I don't have many components currently. Should I just flip this on Amumu too? Or Diana too? I have Volley in shop, I think. Wait, why is it, why is it flashing? Okay, I don't know why Foddy was flashing. I regret everything. Why was it flashing? Whatever. Alright, we're swapping. We're swapping comps. Archangel's Volley Bear. I mean, this guy doesn't mind AP, right? It's fine. Maybe we'll play into, um... To Lux anyway. We'll see. We have um, Dana, Mumu, Jana. I could play into it for sure. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Have you watched any regionals? I actually did watch a little bit. I watched a bit of NA. I watched a bit of US or US, just Europe. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, I learned a lot, I guess. But I'm not a big TFT um, competitive watcher, to be honest. I enjoy it, but I don't love it. Lilia, Lilia everywhere. Yeah, I mean, Lilia is giga OP at the moment, so would make sense. Um, Tell the Garen here, probably. And I imagine this Archangel is going to go back line. Maybe I just sell Volley here. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done to play this. And then we go Zyra plus Garen in, I guess. I know I sold the Ribbon, but it's fine. And Garen's in anyway. We need Warden with a Moo Moo. Actually, I was thinking, like, Phantom must be crazy with, um... Phantom must be crazy with, uh... Ghostly. Because you insta-set two, two units to 100 HP. So you stack the Spectres, like, instantly. In my head, that sounds broken. So... We might have to... We might have to give that a shot. There's the Lux. I see and the Riven came back. Yeah, it's probably this. It's either pre-level or make 20. I feel like it's pre-level. Actually, I feel like it's make 20 because I'm my next unit anyway. What's good, Senyo? Welcome, good to see you. Yo, nice to see you, Kari. There was a lobby yesterday built different with three noughts, two Annie on board. Yeah, that is a classic. Just spamming the same unit in the build different comp. Some of them are so disgustingly good. Three noughts on board is crazy. What they must have had double nought two plus or single nought. Two single noughts and uh and a nought two. Yeah, that is nuts. You got this Zoe, one more cast. Oh, so close. I would win this. It's a pre-level angle. Carry with the resub for seven ma months. That is crazy. My rank has been tanking since the coaching you gave me. <laughs> I'm determined to make it work. I'm glad to hear it. Probably need some time to get adjustments working. I assume so. I assume so. Diana 2 here, by the way. Yeah, no Diana 2, but we'll take the Riven pair. Yeah, I'm sure it'll take some time and then we'll you'll be sorted, Curry. Don't worry about it. Helion. It's pretty good. It's not bad as well. Thing is, when my front line dies, it's so doomed anyway, and I don't have that many like bad units on my front line. So it might just be Helion. This sounds crazy actually. Bonus damage with Phantom. Let's do that. Man. All 
I want to play Riven, but I can't till next level. May as well bow here. Seven months? Crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Seven months is insane. 50% extra damage on the Zoe feels pretty good. Good afternoon, yo, passenger. Good to see you. I think I might take two Imperial rather than two Phantom, but I'm not sure. I think both sound pretty good to me. The thing is, the only thing with Phantom is I kind of have to flip it. I'm kind of flipping it, which is okay. It's not too bad, but I'm going to hold the Nico here, actually. I might end up playing Powerpuff Girls. It's not bad. I'm going to hold the Ash. I mean, the Ash is pretty good, honestly. Will you play more Pengu Party or just one or two? Just one or two. Don't worry. I know some people don't enjoy Pengu Party that much. Yeah, probably just one or two. I mean, honestly, maybe just one. We'll see. We win those? Yo, good to see you, Donaldo. I, ran, I rolled the um, the Phantom on probably the worst unit to roll it on, but it's okay. We've also rolled our damage on both frontline units, which is suboptimal, but it's okay. I think I will take Phantom um, upgrade, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think it just makes a lot more sense, to be honest. Uh, especially with Zoe bounces. You can cheese Imperial with item remover? You're joking. That sounds insane. <laughs> that's crazy. Wait, that's perfect. Why do astronauts use Linux? Because there's no windows on a spaceship. Is that true? Are there windows on spaceships? I'm not a spaceship knower. Because they cannot open windows. Oh, that's good. That is good. Nashus. I'm gonna slam TG probably because I have a golden remover. Oh, I can't actually cheese Imperial. They must have fixed it. Because I don't know yet. There are windows, but you sure as hell can't open them? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. So we're going to play, what, Janna plus Riven? Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'd love to get Soraka into this comp. Like, Heavenly Soraka, Wukong. Wukong, Soraka, Rakan. I'd love to get that in. It's not rocket science. Actually, it is. Never mind. <laughs> Chad's cracking some good good jokes today, chat. Good job, everyone. Not enough damage. Or not enough managing, to be honest. No way I've queued up a Pengu's party to reroll Lux. Who am I? Okay, maybe we're not re-rolling. Maybe I'm just playing this board for a little bit. Janna, AP. I'm gonna go AP front line. I mean AP back line. I think this is probably good enough. Maybe I play Lux like this and have them wrap around and move me on the right side. I like this. And then we go seven, add Janna and Hopefully two star everything and then go level nine. And then maybe I'll just replace the whole board. Like play some kind of Azir carry comp or Huey carry comp. My pick of the litter definitely did not help. I was Yeah, I was not not taking the best augment there. Yeah, I feel like they've they've removed the um Imperial cheese. Nice. Prop the Yasuo, and then he comes back, and then Lux gets one or one or alt cast off. We have enough. Not enough. 
Close though. Honestly close. Listen, we're on a loose streak on purpose, team. That's all. What is this? Wait, what's Shen? I forgot what Shen does. Oh. Well, it's probably three costs. I mean, Wardens gives me an Alawi, actually. Oh, I actually don't need Zoe, I guess. I'm gonna go three cost. Wanna Mumu, please. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, I guess we're just playing this. I mean, you're meant to play Alawi over Zoe, I guess, but I kind of like the idea of this comp. And then maybe I'll play like No Warden and three star Diana. We'll see. Let's see. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this guy's carrying Diana. That's pretty cool. Imagine if I phantomed him. <laughs> yeah, they might have changed. I didn't read Pengu Party patch notes. Yeah, I don't think many people do. <laughs> hi, hi, yo, Chainsaw. Good to see you. Too many peas. Pengu Party patch notes. <laughs> nice. Good win. Probably level off to Carousel here. We're going to take the um, the Phantom, set two enemies' health to 100. Uh, we've got to watch out for Radiant Blessing as well. Just remember when someone drops below 40 to have a look. I don't specifically need anything here. Um, adaptive sounds decent. Need some kind of mana gen. Spark sounds fine. Adaptive it is. Adaptive Zoe. They patched Pengu Party more than base TFT last patch. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, I think this is the last competitive patch, right? So I feel like they just don't really care that much anymore. Although I guess they should have last patched if it's the last competitive patch, actually. Oh, I trolled. Sell the ribbon, probably. So we get Jux, I said Jux, Lux Janna averaging a 3 still in regionals. So cool. That's cool. That is cool. Lilia as well is pretty insane though. You know what surprises me? Every time I look at like average placements, or I haven't seen the most recent one, but for tourneys, like duelists are surprisingly good. I guess it's because people only play it with like the perfect duelist line, but like for some reason, duelists are always pretty good. I hate KL. Yeah, duelists always do pretty decently, honestly. You only play it in a good spot? Yeah, I think that's my theory as well. Just like no one would play duelists if they didn't have the best spot for it. But it's always got really good AVP whenever I look at the 20 stats for duelists. I guess also no one really plays Duelist, so it's like more e easier to hit. I mean, honestly, I'm probably meant to play like Nico, Soraka, like Powerpuff Girls comp in this spot. I drop the Lux, but I don't want to yet. If I'm not re-rolling this comp, then... The Lux is probably out. Oh, I didn't check. We'll see if this guy loses or not, I guess. Oh, I 1 HP'd the Malphite. Yep. That's why Phantom was removed. <laughs> Just uh, not much counterplay to that one. Let's see if he loses. I think he is going to lose. We can have a look at the... Um, the Radiant Blessing. 37. Double bow. Triple bow. Is he going to loot it? Boom. Doop spat. Doop and a spat in two components. 7 ink is really good now. Yes, 7 ink is really good. 7 ink is really good.
I'm just playing full econ. Vertical and ink average to 5.5. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. I wonder why. Is it in NA? Did it average a lot higher? Two Dianas, five Dianas. It's not bad. It's not bad. His Lilia. Worst placement out of the 10 most played comps. How interesting. I guess it's tough, right? It's like a hard line to play unless you like hit a really good center opener. 11 games, it's not bad, honestly. It's not a huge sample size, but like in tournament games, you only get so many games, you know? People love, good luck in your games. Thank you, Annie. We're just gonna play a level nine comp. I might even sack this whole stage. I have no Zoe too, so it's a bit rough. You know what? I've got a plan. Trust the process, team. The first four cost carry we see. It'll do. It'll do. I need Nico in. Who's Nico over? It's the plan. I guess Riven's in for no reason. She's in for Altruist, but it's not huge. Thank you, party, then rank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll probably play ranked after this game. I need to start the day with something easy. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Like, I have no anti heal for this now. I'm gonna struggle. Are wow, you saying Pengu is easy? A little. <laughs> A little easy. Is this guy um, Yodo? Why is he 3 starring everything? Oh. Okay. Interesting. No prison can hold me. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Eyeless Udia. I mean, I don't think I can drop anything on my board. I just wonder... If I'm meant to hold them or not. Honestly, probably. Probably meant to hold decent as well. The power of a dragon. I mean, I don't think we're in a bad spot. Morgana with the Phantom could always RNG, like I can just hit this Lilia with one roll. I mean one um Morgul when she dies. Nice. We actually won a round. Big. My last three Pengu games ended up being duelist because of either mech or boss augment early. Yeah, I mean boss boss duelist is always pretty fun. Like boss Lee Sen. I don't mind mech. I think mech's okay. It's kind of fun to play. I'm gonna take red buff or Morello components here. Obviously red buff component I really is best, but... Galio it is. So I can actually play Galio. I dropped my Zyra. I was gonna say I could play Galio, Zyra, Rova, Diana, Janna, but honestly I'm two-starred, so... Probably just waiting till we can go nine. I'm like fully econ by the way, so let's hope we can three star something this game. I mean I can get good good rolls. I can get good rolls. I 
and put the ghostly units next to each other. I made a Coven Duelist Malphite carry with a Rapid Fire Cannon BT. That sounds nutty. <laughs> sounds nutty. I should actually slam this spell. No reason not to. Pretty unlucky. Um, all RNG hit the hit the unit that heals, but such is life when you play Phantom. This guy's healing infinite. Hey, hey, stop that. It was unlucky, but actually I realized it was literally on the carry, so it could have been so good. Is it enough? Oh, it is. It's actually enough. The tick. Nice. Good team. Remember, we got a dupe coming, so... Hello, Mr. Seng. Good to see you. Yo, for a guy, good to see you, boss. I waited for this stream yesterday with... With no stream, I watch your YouTube videos. Thank you so much, Ulick. Appreciate you. The GOAT for supporting me. I'm actually going to put Morello back line. Even though... Actually... Let's put it on a Moo Moo. Kind of down for that. Then at least it's in front of my... um, And it's the... We make use of the Warmogs. Okay, I'm down. Phantom Malphite here. Phantom Malphite here. Oh, <laughs> No! It's set! No! Oh, I mean, I asked for it. I asked for it, to be fair. This guy's gonna start slapping my comp now. I've griefed myself. Thank you for listening, Mr. Moore, but you shouldn't have listened to me. Unless. Unless you should have. Oh, one tick. One tick. One tick. Just one tick. Be close to leveling. We have a dupe coming as well, remember? And our late game specialist. I guess I'm gonna swap to a uh, like Riven Galio Irelia board. I might keep Morgan, honestly. We'll see. I need to carry, so. That's my Morello. That's my Irelia items. That's a Lowey too. Just gonna sit like this in case one of these have units in them. Oh. Got the student. Okay, so we're probably pivoting to an Ornish board. I actually shouldn't drop this yet. And chill. We are looking for Irelia. That's out. I mean, Serac is sometimes in. I don't think this is ever in. I don't think Silas is ever in. These things can be in. It's a good win. I mean, Zyra could be in, but probably not. Khan is in. Drop. 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 Legends are told in words. Drop. Drop. I think I meant to drop Seraka actually. Oh, it's Morg. It's Morg. Maybe ten in Udia. I mean ten in Orn Orn Udia over Morg. Oh. Wait, I hit the Nah. Let's go. Get the Nah. Get him, team. He's 1 HP. He's been phantomed. <laughs> I phantomed the Nah. That works. I can play Lee Sin as well. Poor Dragon Lord Duelist in.
Do I need components here? Not really. I mean, I could drop TG, I guess, and take the... I mean, this actually, TG's just best. Like, because I have the golden remover. I could drop more items. I mean, is there anything to... Let me see. Is there anything better to make? Honestly, probably not. I feel like these are just way items. I guess I could blue buff Udia. Hello, sir. Is it Leo Vagina? It probably is, yeah. <laughs> it definitely is, actually. Oh! I've... It's fine. My, um... My phantom RNG is crazy. Yeah, it's Leo, uh, Leo Vagina. And then we go 10 and find a 3 star 5 cost. That's the plan at least. Not bad though. Not a bad board. This Morg's actually doing decent. I mean she's going to be dropped for a Hui when I hit Hui but... Or maybe I'll play Udia on Azir and keep the Janna once I hit. TG Udia 2. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now what? Because I'm definitely meant to play Udia 2. Maybe I just drop the Story Weaver units. Or maybe I just put, put Udia 2 in for Janna. And then just not play the Lee. Any Noahs? What's this TG? I feel like it is eventually drop the story weaver units. I feel like these two don't add as much as like onto Azia Janna. Like this becomes Azia, this becomes um Orn, this becomes Janna. And then we add Lee Sin level 10. Like this. Drop. Does the other one drop? We Orn, Azia, Janna. And then I said Lee Sin needs to go in somehow. Oh, Morgana. Lee Sin. It's our level 10 board. Phantom 2 is the ultimate snipe trait. Legit. Like, it's won me so many rounds. This guy's nasty. It's Lee Sin 1. <laughs> That's why my dupe's coming in soon. This guy still has his dupe. Galio 2. It's probably viable, honestly. I mean, I feel like this is... Tank. Tank. I mean, it probably is on Udia. No joke. I missed my swap. It's fine. We hit Bard here. Trust. Bard Lilia. Trust. We hit the dummy. It's okay. Oh, this Morgul is pretty good value. Maybe I should have put the Morello on Morg this fight. Dude, yeah, I actually just one shot his backline. Dude, two more golds just killed his whole backline. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, yeah, anyone close to three starring something? This guy's got Azia too. No. No, not even Lee Sin 2, so I think we're chilling into this. Jeff Bezos board. Yeah. This is uh, a Jeff Bezos board. It's going to be hit, hard to hit the Rakan, but it's okay. I mean, I say the Rakan, the, um, the Azir. I mean, that's definitely not better yet. The only thing is I get the dupe ticking instantly. Which is, like, arguably kind of worth sacking around for. Yeah, go on. It's definitely weaker. Don't worry. It's worth all part of the plan. Um, I really ride him. Red buff, death blade. How long does this thing last? Oh, only one round. Double death blade. Or go red buff. Never. 
Let's roll a little. Okay, Azia's out for I mean Quay's out for Azia high key, but Not anymore. Dude! Old man hands, old man hands. My hands don't do what I want them to do, team. Just drop Galio and play Huey no Azia. <laughs> Galio just didn't want to go yet. <laughs> I guess not. Dude, this ED is a beast. Heal. Heal him away. Is this winnable? Soraka? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> nice. Let's buy the sets. So this is the board? I mean, it seems fine. Seems fine. It's probably Azir over once we're Azir too, though. This guy's actually really strong. I have good positioning into it, though. I really too is big. What the heck? Perfect items on the Lee Sin? Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of scared of the Diana. Wait. Look at Zoe and do not smile. Don't smile. Challenge mode impossible. Do not smile. <laughs> Sell the own. We're going for a three star five cost. Yeah, man. I don't know why I'm holding the Azir. I feel like it's never Azir. With Phantom Board, anyone can win. <laughs> Legit. It's true. Um, I mean, these items are maybe better on Udia. Actually, there's no way. It's probably fine. Infinite Pass. Good roll here, honestly. Yo, the one true noob. I got you next game. I got you next game. What does Phantom do? It selects two random units and puts them to 1 HP. Holy Bear 3, 1 HP. Soraka, 1 HP. Holy Bear 3, dead. <laughs> Not bad. So is this just a warm up for ranked? Exactly, because I'm going for 3 star 5 costs in rank. Exactly. Exactly. Just a cheeky little warm up. What's this guy got? He's got Rakan, so I can't hit Rakan 3. He's got Irelia, so I can't hit Irelia 3. I mean, I can technically hit Irelia 3. I want Wukong or Azir. We just take the 5 costs. Warmog's the one. We're losing 150 LP today. Trust? <laughs> what? I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't, no deal. No deal. I don't want to deal on that one. I mean, now what? I roll. I like probably not. Thing is, I meant to save this dupe. I probably meant to sell sets. I don't want to sell sets. I mean, technically, we're only what three ways off. It's not bad. Probably sell the board at this point. And then sack the one HP. This win deal. Yeah, I'm down to win this one. Wait, who did I phantom? I didn't even see. But half his board's dead, so. His volley bear's a bit scary, honestly. Okay, can this lease in 1v9? I don't think so. My Udia just has like the most insane items ever. Said GG. Does he win this? I don't think so. GG. Oh, the heal? Oh, that's not enough. GG. Oh yeah, um, 
you guys in? I kind of down to just sell. Um, I can't hit Rakan and Irelia. Well, I definitely can't hit Rakan. So I'm down to like keep a space on, on bench. So that I can't dupe it. What legends do you need? Do I tell him? I mean, I know he's going to help me win, but like the thing is, I'm going to hit them anyway. He wants to make a deal with me. He wants to make a deal. He wants to he wants to take one. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I give him a hee hee so he doesn't think I'm being toxic. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, so. 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 I don't need Rakan's actually. And I really is, I'm not gonna hit. We're pretty close. So Rakan's. We have UDA3. I gotta take it onto bench though. What do we wanna see? Should we see UDA3? UDA3 or set 3? Pretty close to set 3. I guess we're gonna see UDA 3. I like playing list 3 the most, to be honest. I mean, UDA is pretty fun. What should we give him? Let me just full AP. I just won with the legendary board. I guess I should sell everything. Pretty close to set, right? Pretty close to set, pretty close to Fue. Fue set, I think of Fue set as well, I guess. So, 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 so. We are made by our choices. Heart is empty without empathy. Strength of spirit! <laughs> he said, go, 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 go! <laughs> I know I had Doof on bench, but... We got one more. Set or, um... Set or Huey. Set or Huey. I mean, he's not one life. When he's one life, I guess I'll sell one of them. I can trap, I guess. <laughs> I helped get this 30 minutes ago predicted. <laughs> Oh you. Okay, I need to settle away. Not bad. UD3 is pretty good, honestly. He's 1 HP, perfect. The calculation. <laughs> I told him to go for Rakan. He's got no chance. <laughs> He's got no chance! We just give him some false hope, you know how it is. Okay, here it is. Oh, 
Boom! <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? He's going for Lee Sin. Oh, he's close. Oh, wait, no, he's the dupe. But unfortunately, I don't think Lee Sin would win this one. <laughs> he's benching. 1,751 <laughs> AD. FF save time. <laughs> Imagine if he FFs here. After being so nice about it all. How much damage is this? 1880k? Not bad. GG's. <laughs> GG everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, until like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far. Thank you.